state your name. Jerome Rodriguez Williams. I'm not like everybody else, bro. I ain't got no ill will against you. That same Bible that you play with, bro, you get by to yourself, you get on your knees and you pray. Because the journey you got ahead of you, you going to need God. I forgive you. I ain't got no anger towards you, bro. Abraham was willing to sacrifice his child. I sacrificed mine. I was you. I once was you. And in that these same courtroom, I was a monster. I'm pretty sure they don't told you about me. I'm the one you don't want to see, bro. You took something from me you can't give back. I don't want no revenge. I gave it to my God. The same God that you play with, I gave it to him. And he took that pressure from me. That I couldn't deal with myself. A lot of people would have suffered if I would have dealt with it. But the fact that it took six years, man, for you to be a man and admit to what you've done wrong. All these people you hurt, man. Huh. Phone calls two, three o'clock in the morning, man. And I gotta get up my bed and go console her. Go get her from the grave site. Four day in the morning. When she there crying about my baby. That's the woman you gotta have forgiveness. Let me tell you one thing about her, bro. It's hard for her to forgive. I've been dealing with for the last 17 years. And I'm still asking her for forgiveness. But I forgive you, bro. That's how strong my God is. I come in and smile at you today with no harm or ill wills towards you. You my brother. You made a mistake. But you got time. You got time to get right with God, bro. Like I said, I once was you. I was a monster. I was just like you. So if my God can change me to make me a better man, can't do that. I celebrate the day. September 13, 2017. I've been out three years. They told me I'd never stay out three years and make it on these streets. The only have I been out three years? Started my own business. For to start another business. For to go to school to be a law clerk. So if it took me to sacrifice and lose my child, Cause the last thing my baby said to me when I talked to her, she said, Daddy, I'm gonna pray for you. And I sat and I wondered, what kind of father am I if my child says she's gonna pray for me? I should be praying for her. I should have been here to protect her, but I wasn't. That's what I deal with. And I'm pretty sure you know I did the call that for me. I wasn't there for my baby. I'm going to make sure I'm there for my others. Like I say, bro, don't play with God, bro. I ask him for forgiveness. You did wrong. Your mistakes just worse than others. When you get by to yourself, you get on your knees and you pray harder than you ever prayed in your life. And you ask for his forgiveness. Cause I give you mine. I ain't got no real will towards you, bro. I love you. You're a child of God. But don't play with him. Because if you play with him, he's going to destroy you. You take that Bible that them people give you, and you pray. And you ask him to make you a better man. Don't look at this as your life being over. I had 15 years mandatory. 12, 24, 2024, I'm still supposed to be in prison. He freed me, he released me. He brought me home. He can do the same for you. Like I said, I'm not like everybody else. I've been where you've been at. I'm still supposed to be where you be at. But he set me free. That's what he'll do for you. He may not release you physically. Spiritually, he will. But you pray to God, bro. You tell him that you made a mistake and you ask for his forgiveness. That's how I am. I asked him. He forgave me. 
And I got to go to the people that I hurt and I got to ask them for their forgiveness. That made me a better man. See, people all, all day long like they Christians. How can you be a Christian if you're not able to forgive a person that did wrong to you? You're my brother. I don't care what nobody else say, I love you. You made a mistake. I forgive you, bro. I ain't got no ill wills towards you. But you go back and you ask God to make you a better man. Because I asked him. And he made me a better man. So I ask that you do the same. I ain't perfect. I make mistakes. But he changed me from what I used to be. Like I said, I once was you. I was a monster. But he took that away from me. He helping me to be a better father. He helping me to be a better man. We got all these people, bro, that you got to have for forgiveness from. Especially her. And she's all woman for forgiveness. But before you leave this earth, bro, ask for forgiveness. Ask her for that. The whole six years. Ain't none of your attorneys, ain't none of your people reached out and ask nobody for forgiveness. But I'm coming to you. I'm giving you my forgiveness, bro. I love you. But you need to ask that woman never forgiveness. It may take some time. She's stubborn. But you gotta ask her. It's right here, bro. I keep my baby right here. But do me that favor. That same vibe you got with you, bro. You sit down, you have a good conversation with God, man. And you talk to him. You ask him for his forgiveness. And I guarantee you'll feel the con con you will never felt in your day in your life. That's what I feel, and I still feel it. I'm at peace, bro. You need peace in your soul. So you when you ask him that tonight, you ask for his forgiveness, and I guarantee he'll give you peace. Your earthly body is done away. But you gotta build up when you go see him. You know what I'm saying? You got a mama. Your mama ain't raised you like that, bro. Just like my mama ain't raised me the way I was raised. So be a man. That's all I ask you for you leave today, man. Be a man and stand on your own two feet, man. I ask her for her forgiveness. That's all I've asked for you, bro. That's all I want for you, my you. We bless you. You ask her for her forgiveness. And we good. I made my peace. My peace with you, my brother. But you asked this woman right here for, for her forgiveness. We good. God bless you. Thank you.